Welcome back to Lacard Chronicles 2. We have finished all the side quests outside the castle, so now it's time to head back to the top floor. Oh, and you're doing it like a boss, I can see. <laughs> With the hovering and the, the the sliding and the... Yeah, but now that we have this uh, special artifact from the white armor, we can now head all the way back here and we can climb one of the longest single stretches in the game. Oh boy. I would recommend not doing this without the axe, because this is nearly impossible to hit these guys without getting thrown back to the bottom repeatedly. Well, something important's got to be up here, right? In one sense of the word, yes. Uh, where does this take place? Like, if if you were to see this from a from a mansion standpoint, where would this be happening? Um, the spire. There's just a big fat gap. Oh, I don't know. Judging by the background, I think it's like Dracula's dire chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Lucifer, uh, remember? Lucifer. Oh, my bad. <laughs> no, it's okay. They probably swapped design ideas. Lucifer's smokestack. Yep. But now that we have the staff, we can now teleport into the mirror realms and just get random stuff. Oh. Hmm. I wonder if they'll do anything interesting with it, unlike, uh, uh, what was it, Harmony of Dissonance didn't really do much with its mirrors. Nah, this game doesn't do much with them either, they're just there for items. Or, no, uh, Harmony of Dissonance, oh, it was Harmony of Dissonance and then Dawn of Sorrow also has a little bit of mirrors. Yeah, mi mirrors and Dawn of Sorrow were for a boss fight, this is for just, like, random items. And the Ring of Arcana massively increases our luck to around 40%. So now we can actually get drops from enemies now. Like this, which maxes out our defense and is the best armor in the game. But it's ancient. Oh wait, Harmony of Dissonance was two different castles. Damn it! I gotta uh, nip that in the bud before the comments start getting angry about me misrepresenting Castlevania! <laughs> hey, you can't damage its reputation any more than Konami has. <laughs> Castlevania's 30th anniversary, what are we gonna do? I know, Pachinko! <laughs> hey, you kids like gambling? I think the real problem was in the Castlevania reboot, they didn't have Picard play LeCard. <laughs> yeah. You know, actually, I probably would buy a remake of Castlevania Bloodlines. Just so I could walk all around Europe and just fight, like, random legends in my search for Dracula. Just if someone talks about there being like a crazy werewolf on the loose, I can go fight a Romanian werewolf. And then I can jet off to Egypt so I can get in a fight with a mummy. The funny thing is, those weren't even Castlevania's or uh, Castlevania's forces. Uh, Dracula's forces. That was just random Europeans. <laughs> They're beating up. It fits. Yeah, Europe is just where all the monsters go to piss off for a while. Does anything happen in that room? This just still reminds me of my original idea for, like, a Castlevania that takes place in, like, Africa or something, and then you have, like, African demons or something like that. I feel like I'd play that. That's, like, the one, like, myth area that remains largely untapped by, uh, Japanese games. Yeah, just developers in general. Yeah, I suppose that's true. Bloodstaff. Hmm. Well, I don't have any blood, so I don't need it. Then how are you alive? <laughs> uh, the fire of God. We're technically supposed to be chased by ghosts back there, but they're not very quick. So, you can just kind of dash away from them and you'll be totally fine. Uh, thanks, God. Uh... It's really weird how he has statues of the Virgin Mother sitting in the Hell Castle. Not just one, but about like three of them. Oh, hey. Oh, that sure is a window. Weird first person segment. There's a bunch of little symbols I can see here, but they're probably not important. Are we gonna, gonna catch Lucy off guard? Just a little stepping out of the demonic shower. <laughs> I don't really want to know what the demonic shower looks like. It's probably made out of eyeballs or something. <laughs> Just worms come out of the spigot. It's just one big... It just takes the form of a giant pach pachinko machine. We've been over this. <laughs> the drops of water are the balls. 
You have to get three sevens in order to get hot water, though. Oh. <laughs> Didn't I just kill you? Yeah, but I'm purple now. Also, how can you be evil? You're already a demon. I'm purple now. This one's extra evil because it's purple. Oh, we've been poisoned. We should probably fix that. Oh. Meanwhile, Gaimon doesn't get a power up. He's just regular old Gaimon. He fights exactly the same. Oh, but he has a second phase. Yeah, now his shots are wider, and you can still duck them and fight him in exactly the same way. I didn't learn from my le I didn't learn my lesson. Oh, now he's gonna bump into you. Yep, now we have the death fight, and it's technically the fight with the most effort in the game, but that's not always a good thing. His first phase is just trying to chip, crash into you, and then he throws his sight. And then the second phase is him summoning this dude to do something. Okay. Hooray for summoning basic enemies. He has enough health that death can, if you don't have your best weapon equipped, he can actually combo that to other attacks. Uh, <laughs> um, dinner's ready! It's rotating corpses! They're all the bosses from the first game that you also killed death in. Power of rotating sprites compels you. And then he just summons a laser barrier on top of you to do a bunch of damage. How did he know that I was afraid of the fetal position? So does he just repeat the same attacks over and over again? Yeah. Yeah, but if you're too slow, they can start comboing into each other and then the fight gets really, really hard. That's a problem I've had with a lot of the bosses in this game so far, is that they all just rely on a perfect pattern. What is that other thing? Is that, like, Carnilla or something? I think that's supposed to be the Lady Viltime, who was the final boss of the first game. She was a bug for most of it, so... No, one of those was the, the bat guy, wasn't it? No, one of them was the late guy who, like, hid in mirrors in the first game. Yeah, but the other one looks like the bad. I didn't see too much of the first game, so to me it just looks like a pale colonial missing a leg. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair, that was really close to what that guy actually was, anyway. So, you're not actually that far off. When are you gonna use the other demonic powers? There's, like, no reason to use them ever. <laughs> yeah, that is definitely the bad. Huh. I remember that because he had the goofy animation where his head popped off. Oh, right! Huh. Let's show how much I know. So, quick question. When you use that healing ability, does that freeze all the enemies on screen? Or are you still vulnerable? Uh, no. It doesn't freeze anything at all, actually. What? Why? Nope. So, yeah, now that we're in the second phase, he now uh, summons... Why would you... Oh, that's really bad design. Yeah, so that thing usually just has enough health to just kind of walk into you and do damage. Which is why we grabbed all those healing potions at the start of this. And let me guess, if death comes down, those enemies don't uh, go away. Nope. Nope. <laughs> the giant chicken leg. What the hell? I think that was supposed to be the Lady Vil time, because that looks like the part of the beep corpse that she left. Um... Hmm. I'm not now, supposed to look at that medium red, right? Can, uh... Can he just keep layering enemies on you if you're not fast enough? Uh, yeah, he actually can. Oh, boy. I've never seen it re I've only had it happen once because I was legitimately screwing around. But, yeah, he can. For the love of... Oh, boy. And he just kind of waits upstairs waiting for you to, uh... Just kind of get attacked or be with these guys. I mean, he's got one hit left. Yeah. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Farg. Eat it. His head didn't fall off, he just immediately lost it. 
<laughs> punk. I tried. You're really just chipping away at the bolt that's holding his head on. Just <laughs> no, his head sunk back into his body like a turtle. Oh, we got a nice new pocket watch. That's good. Finally, I have found it. My ancestor's sword. It was here after all. But I fear that I am wounded and too weak to wield it. I lend you my sword. Use it to rid this castle of evil. I must return to my slumber and leave you to restore peace. Farewell, Lacard. Is that supposed to be Alucard? That is Alucard. Yeah. He gave us a sword and a marble. What a guy. Somehow the developer who hooked in Alucard's voice actor to do some lines. It definitely sounded like him, but it sounds just off. He must have a pretty, like, strong <laughs> filter on his voice in the original PlayStation game. Well, to be fair, that was also 20 years ago. And I'm going to assume that the, de that the developer is not really good at voice directing. Good point. Now with this new sword, we're going to stand here, beat up him, and get a better sword. The strongest okay. weapon. Yep, so now we have this shiny new sword, and we're going to walk out with it. Time to look up where this sword is from. Recovery! Durandal. So yeah, that's uh, that's one of the guys. <laughs> Gaiman is the one who drops that, and it's... If you don't have the Ring of Arcana, it's a huge pain in the ass to actually get it from him. Okay, well... Actually, looking at this now, yeah, that... I guess in a way this makes sense, because this sword does, um... Hail from France. Yeah, you see, there you go. Nationalism wins again. Now we just see uh, Lucy reading in bed. But now that gives us uh, a clue to this area, which has all these symbols above uh, the little slot machine here. We've got to write down how many we saw and put them in here. And we get this. Is that the final heart max up? No, there's one more. Still can't do anything with the dead. <laughs> I like the abrupt music change. You're like, this is the wrong room, and it just abruptly changes. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'll leave you alone. Bye. It's like you're walking in on somebody. Music guy's like, you <laughs> quit breaking my balls like this, God. <laughs> but since we're here, there is one area we haven't explored yet. Uh oh. <gasps> it might even come with some prizes. So. The save room. Hmm. If you've seen one save room, you've seen them all. So we jump up here. Oh, that's nice, they gave us a health up. Probably should come up here earlier. Hmm. Hey, yellow cur- wait, yellow curtains, we read a book about this. Welcome to the end of your life. Now we can die however we want. Hmm. I want to die by- <laughs> This sounds amazing, it's like the Fanta I drink at home. Oh. Uh, I wanted to die by fan game overload. <laughs> uh, liquid fan game. Tastes like green apple. And now, new low-calorie fan game. Half the calories, half the flavor. Ha-cha-cha-cha! -cha -cha. 